Well, here's an example of what we were talking about where we're going to use Genially to make that round table and then include those hotspots and then use that as a template that students could download and then edit and add in their information into those hotspots. So here's a basic example. So the first thing we want to do is once you've got your account, account created, click on the Create Genially. And this one, we're going to do an interactive image. So this is going to give us a few buttons to start, and then we can simply duplicate those. And let me show you here. So I'm going to say create. Uh, there is a short tutorial here. So if you do want some more information, some added hints and tips, you can always click on that. But I'm just going to say create interactive image. It's going to ask me for the image for the background. I'm going to use this table that I have. Um, it's going to accept it. We're going to make sure that the whole table is included really quick here. Like so. Move this up a little bit. That looks good. Accept and then we'll have it. It's going to upload that image and then create that slide with a couple basic hotspots. And then all we need to do is edit those hotspots, duplicate them and put them throughout. So uh, it's going to load up. And here we go. And again, it's already got some basic hotspots here. So each one of these may be um, we can just add these in, but I'm just going to delete one of them right now. So uh, each one of these has two things that you're going to want the students to change or that they can modify. They can play around with this. But when you click on this, the icon, if you click on replace, you have a whole bunch of icons that you can use, different colors, things like that. So if they wanted something that was specific for video, they could always make it just a video icon. Um, if it's a link, um, there's going to be, you know, a little thing for link. But what you'd probably want them to do is to always create it as just text. So I'm just going to um, find a stamp, uh, uh, standard information. Uh, let's just make it uh, the star for right now say replace so now I have that star the next thing that you want to do is select what you want that button or this little dot to do so over here if you look there's the small little pokey icon it's interactivity when you click on that you can have a few different things so a tooltip when you hover over will pop up information a window is a larger bit of information that when you click it pulls that up you can have it go to a page which is if you had multiple pages in a slide or you could just simply have it go to a link. So if a student finds a resource, they could have it just go right to a link. Although in the window, they can add those links with context in there. So for the most part, you're going to use window for everything. And you can see here, it has an editor. You can put text in here. Um, you can always do video. So uh, here you can insert a video and you have the option to either do it by URL, you can embed. So in this one, I'm going to grab some nice music that I'm listening to. Let's see if it'll grab this URL. Insert some lo-fi uh, hip hop radio to relax and study by. Again, we can go after this. I'm going to add in a few more spaces here. Whoops. Spaces here. We can always go in and insert an image if you want. So if I did have an image, I can drag and drop that in there. Or if I find an image on the web, I can also link that. So this gives them the ability to do all kinds of different things. Again, uh, font families, font sizes. They can change all kinds of different components. They can insert tables and use tables. Um, you can have it be different sizes for that window. But uh, that'll give you the basics of what this can do. And when I'm done, I click save. So once you've got one of these created, all you really need to do is paste out a bunch of them and just make them go around the table. Uh, let's see if I got enough of them. I think I did. There we go. There we go. So now this interactive image, you can send this out to students. All they would need to do is open this as a template and edit each one of these components when they click on it they would edit the interactivity and this is all that they're going to need to change and save. So once you're done with it, you can click on all set. You'll want to make sure this is public. Public allows it to be shared out with the greater public. And then you want to make sure that it is reusable. When you turn this on, others can use it as a template. So when you share that link out, they're able to say, I want to use this as a template with their account. It brings in a copy of it then they share out that link. So I say all set 
and this is exactly what I am going to uh, download again that's with an advanced account uh, I'm going to share this with you again when they click on share this is the link right here that all they need to do is turn that in as the URL within Canvas and that URL will activate and you would be able to see that. So again, right here, here's what they click on. They click this piece here and here's some text and some video. It could have those links in there and then they've edited each one of those and this is what you're gonna see from the students. So I hope this helps, uh, gives you a little base to go on. If it doesn't work, please let me know. There's a dozen other tools that we can come up with some process that would work, but I think this will be really cool. And again, this allows them some creativity. So if they want to change colors, there isn't a way to lock that. I know you said you wanted to kind of limit that and focus more on the uh, instructional process through that and not on the design. Uh, there isn't really a way to lock that. You just have to inform students, hey, all you need to do is click this edit this information, save, and then send out the link and just let them know that's all you want done. If you do have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope this works.